Oh, the <laughs> Polish Muslims. What do they sound like to you? A new religious order? A terrorist cult, perhaps? If you said yes to either of those questions, you're wrong. The Polish Muslims is a band. Now, these 11 musicians share a love of 60s music, a more than slightly warped sense of humor, and Polish ancestry. I guess you could say the group focus to the beat of a different accordion. Are you ready, Stash? Ready, Ash. One, two, one, two, three, four. Generally, we charge twenty thousand a show, but if it's a smaller place, we'll go yeah, we'll for two hundred. Yeah, or free beer. I did not know if it was day or night. I dime and push it every time it's in sight. But when I push it, Stella down a street called Everlight. She wanted to dance that love polka number nine. This is no ordinary rock group. If that isn't already clear to you, the Polish Muslims pride themselves on never taking anything too seriously, including themselves and the Polish heritage they all share. Yeah, everybody is uh, at least partially Polish distraction. <laughs> and uh, and most, of us, most of us know how to use the English language, right. uh, of which Gary isn't one. <laughs> yes, but some of us are more distracted than others. Uh, uh, that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that answers that crazy. question, yeah. Boy, are we fluent or what? <clears throat> this is a great interview. People are going to be watching us going, God, I'd love to meet those guys. They don't make music just to make money. It's all for fun. And although they're all talented musicians and several band members write music, they don't perform original material. But basically, the way that Muslims started out was working exclusively doing quote-unquote covers, which is versions of other people's material for those in the viewing audience that don't know musical terminology. <laughs> but because of the fact that it's been that way from the beginning, we're so used to have gotten to our little niche as far as just exclusively doing the cover material. So it'd be hard to speculate whether the, uh, our same, whether the same uh, humongous success could be achieved if we did, in fact, go to original material. If everybody had a phone across the USA then everybody be born like at Palladium Rain they'd all be bringing their rods and rags and their number two all bushy bushy blonde hair Bowling USA But what their fans clamor for are more of their parodies, their own slightly ethnic and very Detroit versions of familiar tunes. The first song that we did do was Bowling USA, which is actually much better than the Beach Boys song Surfing USA, but we do acknowledge that they did before we did, so we'll let them have credit for it. And, uh, if Brian Wilson's out there listening, I love you, Brian. When they're not poking gentle fun at Hamtramck, themselves, and favorite Detroit pastimes, you may find the Muslims immortalizing a local landmark in song.
Oh, I want to tell you the production and the editing and yeah. that was like one of those.